Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cooking with Lisa. In this video, I'm going to share with you my recipe for fried rice. Here's what you'll need. Here I have about three finely chopped green chili peppers, parsley, carrots, bell peppers, and shallot. Onion, ginger, garlic, cinnamon sticks, cardamom pods, cloves. I am going to fry up the onion along with the spices and the garlic and the ginger. So put some oil in a pot. Once it's heated, add the, veg uh, the ingredients inside, everything. Let it cook for about two to three minutes. While this is cooking, make sure you wash your rice and let it soak for about 15 minutes before you cook it. The reason for soaking the rice is so that it will cook faster once you add it into the pot along with the water. I am using long grain white basmati rice. It is my favorite rice to use in all my rice dishes. You can use whatever rice you have. And if you don't like any of these ingredients, then you can leave it out. This is the chicken I'm going to add to the fried rice. I am using chicken breast. I've marinated it with some green seasoning, salt and pepper, and some Cajun seasoning. And also I've made a sauce here. And I've poured some over the chicken to give it a dark color. What's basically in this sauce is honey, teriyaki sauce, um, ketchup and a little bit of ground chili pepper to give it a little heat. After two, three minutes, we are going to add the rice. Give it a good mix. And let it fry a little bit, like for maybe 5 minutes or so. Make sure you keep turning it so that the bottom of the rice won't burn. It smells so good in here. While the rice is frying, you will need to boil some water because we are going to pour it over the rice. Pour just enough to cover the rice. And at this point, season it with salt. Do not pour too much water because the rice might overcook. It's best if you pour a little and when, when the water evaporates, you can check the rice to see if it's cooked or not. And then you can add more water if it's not cooked. So go ahead and season with uh, salt according to how much you like. Also at this point, you can add in some Chinese sauce or cow's rip to give it that dark brown color. I am not going to add any of those because I am going to cook chicken like I said and I'm gonna mix the chicken in here and the sauce from the chicken will get dark and I'm gonna add the sauce to the fried rice which will give it the brown color. You will also need to put the lid on and just leave it to steam until the water evaporates. Make sure that you stir it so that the rice doesn't burn on the bottom. 
All right. Once all the water has evaporated from your rice, it should look like this. I am going to remove all the spices from this rice because I don't like to chew down on whole spices. You should count how much uh, cardamom pods and cloves you've put in your rice so that way you'll know how much to take out. After the rice is finished cooking, take it off from the stove and leave it to cool down at the side by the time we're going to cook the chicken. So I just put some oil in here and add the chicken to it and I'm cooking this on a medium to low heat because I want it to take its time and cook. The spices we have added in here is making the rice smell so fragrantful guys. Let this chicken cook until all the liquid has evaporated and the bowl that you've marinated the chicken in, keep it because we are going to rinse it out and add the water to the meat once the water from in here has evaporated. We're not going to let any of that goodness go to waste. The water has evaporated from my chicken and I have added the remaining water where I've rinsed the bowl that the chicken was marinating in and I've added to this. Now let this cook until it reduces to half. We need it to thicken up a bit so that we can add it to the fried rice. You can see the color is brown. So this brown color will make my rice get that brown uh, fried rice color as well. I have removed the spices from the rice and it is cooling here. All right, my chicken is at the right consistency. So now I'm going to add it to the rice. And in the same pan, I'm going to saute the rest of the veggies. my veggies salt and pepper to the veggies and I'm going to add a little bit more oil because it's dry Cook this for about two to three minutes until the veggies have softened up. Then we're going to add it to the rice.
You can add whatever veggies you want to this, like broccoli or spinach or even cauliflower, whatever you want. I'm just keeping it simple with these few ingredients. The veggies are ready to be added to the rice. Mix well. Turn off your stove. And here you have it, homemade chicken fried rice, Lisa style. <laughs> I hope you guys will give this recipe a try. Doesn't that look very appetizing? Can you see that there? Looks so delicious. Now I'm going to give it a taste. Oh my. Mm -hmm. That is delicious guys, delicious. This is all done here. That's it for this video. Thank you for spending time with me in my kitchen today. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And guys, can you please help me to get more subscribers by telling your family and friends to subscribe to my channel? Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. And I hope you enjoyed this fried rice video today. See you in my next video. Bye!